Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I want to talk about something that somebody mentioned in one of my uh, video comments, and that was, what would my van look like if I were to pack it for a month-long trip? And I thought that was a really good question because I normally just van camp for like a week at a time because, as you know, I have a home base, which I'm in right now. I have a family and uh, responsibility. So... I thought, you know what, I'm gonna address that because I, I think there's a lot to be said for packing well and minimally, even if you're going to be gone for a month. So what I ended up doing was I brought everything back in the house that was in the van, and then I also got out things that I thought I would need if I was going to take off for a month. So all of those things are right here in the living room, and I wanna show you what they are. And then when we're all finished, you'll see that I don't need much more than I bring when I'm leaving only for a week. But I want you to see everything that I have in my van and I want you to see where I put it in my van. What I'm not going to do is have a speedy video where I show you me walking in and out of the house bringing stuff into the van. I just think that's kind of a waste of time. I'm gonna go through everything in the house, I'm gonna take everything out in the van, and then I'm gonna show you where I put it because I think that is the best use of our time. But before we get outside, I wanna go through everything here, so let's do that right now. All right, let's start up in the corner here. My little buddy, Mr. Heater, he's coming. Little propane tanks that go with him and also for the kitchen outside, those would be coming. My fire extinguisher spray would be coming. I'd have water, obviously. What I have available here are two two-gallon jugs, but I would most likely bring two three-gallon jugs of water and I'd have my water pump here that would go on top of those water jugs. It's a wide mouth, set it on top, turn it on, pumps water. This would be coming. These two batteries here, this is my new Picron 600 watt, 1200 watt inverter battery and this would power my Keurig. We just did a video about that. So this would be coming. These are the cords that go with it. This is the uh, Blue Eddy AC50S. This is a 300 watt. This would be coming, the cords for that. Um, I don't have the Keurig here, but that will be coming. If I leave for a month and this battery charges that Keurig, it's coming. Um, down here, we have all the cords to my USB charge gadgets. So those cords would be coming. My Bose speaker would be coming because I love music and listen to it regularly. Really powerful binoculars, definitely bringing these for animal watching or whatever. That's definitely a, a must have. This is a little tinder fire starting kit. I have a little flint, a lighter, and a little can to put tinder in. This would be fantastic for a road trip for a month. Um, picnic table holders, these are metal ones. These are phenomenal, I love these things. Um, and a quick little um, hack for you is if you are looking for a fantastic table cover for your picnic tables that's uh, reusable for quite some time. Dollar store shower curtains are the bomb.com. They're way better than those plastic um, uh, table covers. So keep that in mind. Dollar store shower curtains uh, work fantastic over a picnic table. Poncho. That's for when I'm rock hunting and I'm out or I get caught in a situation and I need to stay dry. Uh, reading light for nighttime. CO2 detector. Now obviously if I'm going to be burning that gas in my van, I'm going to have this going. So if I'm heating my van up, and by the way, I know that doesn't seem like a lot of propane, but I would not run that heater all night long anyway. That would be just to warm up my space before I went to bed. And also I would use it to cook with. But anyhow, I would always have one of these on hand and plugged in. All my USB lights here, I have three Kaizen lights. I would bring every one of them. They're very tiny, they tuck away nicely, but it's good to have them all charged up in the event you run out of one, you just have another one to pop open. A thermosel, very important to keep the bugs away. If you haven't tried this yet, I would uh, highly suggest you do so. These are the bomb.com. Um, fix a flat, I've got two of these. These are a great thing to have if you're on road trips. My tools, really important, they always come with me. Uh, indoor outdoor thermometer, I always like to know what temperature it is outside. If I don't have service on my phone, that's when this thing comes in handy. Uh, clothesline, clothespins, if I'm not gonna be hitting laundry mats um, as often as I 
would like. I'm going to have to be washing my own things and hanging them up, so those come in handy. Uh, MSR stove and this little propane butane guy. Um, this is if I don't want to use my big kitchen or I'm in a position where I can't, I always have this one. So this is great. These here are my water shoes, my water booties, my neoprene booties, and my uh, neoprene gloves. Um, Lake Superior can get really cold, so, <laughs> and you know I rock hunt, right? So these are really handy, and those would be coming with me. My hammock, my hammock's coming. And the only thing out here so far that I wouldn't have on a regular basis is my MacBook, and that would be here. I have all my uh, electronics in here. This would be coming, uh, but I wouldn't normally bring this because when I go on my seven to 10 day trips, I don't bring my computer. I just bring my phone and my iPad, but I would bring it if I was going to be gone for a month. Um, mentioned the hammocks. Okay, gloves. Everyday gloves, a hat, maybe a couple hats, obviously. Um, work gloves, gotta have those. My most fabulous adventure hat. This is coming. Love this hat, okay. Um, a sheet for my bedding. If it's too hot, I, I would need a sheet. I wouldn't want a blanket. An extra pillow to prop myself up and my regular pillow. This sleeping bag here is my mummy sleeping bag. And this blanket right here is a down blanket. So everything on the table here is what I normally bring on trips except this bag here. All right, let's get to the uh, stuff I have over here. All right, this stuff over here definitely would be coming with me. It would be my two trunk organizers. This one here is from Hey Trip. And this organizer here is going to be what holds all that little stuff up on the table. So all of that's gonna come into here. This trunk organizer will be where my clothes go. And I know you're wondering, gee whiz, you're gonna be gone a month? How are you gonna possibly live out of that little thing for a month? Well, when you fold your clothes right and you put them in there correctly, you can get a ton of stuff in there. And furthermore, I wouldn't bring a month's worth of clothes. I would just bring a week's worth or two weeks worth of clothing, and then I would go to the laundromat. So nothing would change there. Um, this bin would be my food bin. All my staples would go in here. My refrigerator, that would come. My toilet. And the pellets on the inside, those are horse pellets or rabbit pellets. Uh, I get those at Tractor Supply. I would bring quite a few of those. I think I have three gallon baggies in there. I'd put those in the front seat. I'd bring this chair. This is a fantastic chair. It's my new chair. I love it. It's indoor outdoor, so dual purpose. I'd bring my brand new black little table right there because that's going to be indoor outdoor purpose. Of course, I'd bring all of my window covers because we obviously need privacy. I would bring these shoes plus the ones I have on. I'd bring my warmest coat. I would bring a down vest and probably a fleece. But my fleece would go into here. Last but not least, I'd bring my pickleball stuff because what the heck? What if somebody's playing pickleball without me? Yeah, so that's coming. Okay, alrighty, that is that. That's everything. I'm going to get all these things put where they need to go in these bins and in my van, and then we're gonna take a trip outside and I'm gonna show you where everything goes. All right, catch you in a minute. All righty, everything's in the van. I had to uh, change the position of the van because the sun is just brutal, terrible shadows. But anyhow, here we are. Everything that was in the house on the table on the floor is in the van now. So obviously there's nothing here. Um, back here, my two batteries. Of course, my refrigerator there. Behind the refrigerator is a little box. That is the cords for the Blue Eddy, okay? The cords for the Pecron are right behind it in the case right there. So that's the case, this is the battery, this is the Blue Eddy. Alrighty, so that's that. My chair. My Reflectix. And over here we have the kitchen. So everything's in the kitchen. Um, this is everything I would bring on a month long trip. Okay. Containers for food and whatnot, cooking things, plates, bowls. This is my stove my matches, 
this is where my food would go. Right here, my Keurig. Remember, I didn't have that on the table, but I have it now. That's where that would stay. This is one three gallon jug. I went ahead and got those out of the basement just to show you. The other three gallon jug would be underneath there. Now everything would be tied in. I know everybody gets really freaked out about that because of, you know, accidents and whatnot. But if you really stop and think about it, we all drive every day with stuff in our cars and we don't think like that. But the minute we get in here to go van camping, we think like that. I don't get too wigged out about it personally, but I do tie my stuff down, especially my heavy stuff. Um, okay, fridge here. This is where my coats would go. And I would probably have a couple more in here too. I would have some fleece jackets, a, a thin hoodie with a hood, probably the one I have on right now, which is my Milwaukee one. Um, down here are my tools. Underneath my seat is a red first aid kit, just so you know. I think everybody should have one of those. These are all my shoes. The only set of shoes that I can completely forgot to mention are my tall rubber boots for rock hunting and those would go right here so those would be in here as well now let's talk about where everything is underneath the bed here so there's my toilet these are the pellets and any extra pellets that i have like these will come out of here because it's full of them right now those will also go in the front seat on the floor uh, my other water okay this this here is gonna be where all my clothing goes. Everything that I bring to wear is gonna go in here. I went ahead and put my hat and my gloves in here. These are trash bags. Um, I normally hang a trash bag right here on an S hook. That's a regular thing I do, so I, I like to have them available. These are my toiletries. The side of this has slotted mesh pouches, so you can put your washcloths in here. And that's exactly what I do. One other thing that I didn't mention is towels for bathing. I use microfiber towels and I have two of them and I would fold them up and I would put them either in here or just in here. They're very small. I use microfiber because they're small and they do the trick and that's all I need. I don't bring a beach towel. I don't do any of that stuff. I also bring a couple washcloths and those go in the pouches on the side. Oh, there's one right there, see? So this, this is a really handy, item here okay um i'm gonna move this chair real quick so we can get into here so you can see everything that's in there so one one moment please all right we're back yeah put the chair out there okay so this other organizer is just as fantastic as this one it has pockets on both sides this is my bose speaker right here and the cord that goes with it this in here are the cords that go to all my USB gadgets. I like to have them handy. Now, if I didn't put them in here and I wanted to, I would just simply put them in there and they'd be handy. But when I take off, I like everything put away. So they're gonna go back in here, okay? So those are my cords. This is my sleeping bag. And if I don't need it, it's staying put away. So let's get that out of the way. All right. All right, so I also went ahead and put a table cover in here because I do bring one and I wanted to make sure uh, you saw that packed in here. So my table cover, my uh, water gear, my water pump. When I use this, the cord is actually um, in here. Not the cord, the um, rubber tube that goes on here that goes into the water bottle. When I use this, and I'm having it out for a while, but then I'm getting ready to take off, I will put it in the kitchen, but it's gonna stay in here for now. Um, there is my little uh, butane propane for my MSR stove, my hammocks, well, my hammock and strings, I should say, binoculars, everything that was on the table is in here, as you can see, okay? CO2 detector, my thermocell, poncho, S-hooks, uh, clothesline, thermometer, all that little stuff is in here. All right, this is a down blanket, my work gloves, all the canisters for my heat and my stove. This is the base for the heater here. This is the base that the canister sits in. I just took it off to fit the uh, heater in there properly. My uh, 
fire spray, my fire extinguisher spray, and that's all that's in that part. So as you can see, I wouldn't need much more for a month than I would for 10 days. The only thing that you need more than what you need for a small trip is food, water, and maybe a little bit more clothing so you can stretch it out between laundry cycles. But the thing is, you don't need much. And food, that's at every store you go to. You have to get gas. If you ran out of something, you could definitely just go pick something up. So I wouldn't bring stuff in here for an entire month like food and water. Um, even um, the pellets for my toilet, I wouldn't do that. I would get them as I need them. So anyways... Um, this is rather heavy. I don't know if I can get it pushed back. Oh, I want to say something. Back here, that's another pouch. I don't know if you can see it. I just opened it. There's um, a potty jar in there. There is my little mist funnel and toilet bags, toiletry bags for the lining for, these, for this toilet here. All right, I don't know if I can get this in one-handed. It's awfully heavy. My Reflectix. They will always stay there unless um, I'm using them, but I love the fact that they're out flat and I can just put them in every window when I'm ready. But the windshield, that one's too big, so I end up having to uh, roll that and keep that right there, but it really isn't a problem. So as you can see, I have everything I need to live in this van. I have everything, a toilet, I have water, I have food, I have a bed shelter of course i have window covers um i've got power you also might be wondering why do you have two power stations well here's the thing i was thinking about getting a big one and uh then i thought again because they're so big and if i had two that uh equaled one large one so this one is a 600 and that little guy is a 300 so that's 900 that's almost a thousand watts right there but I'll have one dedicated to the refrigerator in my coffee pot, and then I'll have the um, the smaller one for all my other little things that I need to charge throughout the day. My lights, my fans. Um, as you can see, I have a fan up there. I also have one more fan. I'd probably bring that too, and I would probably put it right there on that bar. But uh, So two batteries for me works out better than one large one. Also, when I park, I would take the smaller battery and I would put it up there on my my kitchen and I'd use it while I was in bed to charge my things, my phone, my iPad, whatever, because that's like a little countertop over there, which is really, really quite convenient. But anyhow, uh, this is just a great setup for me. I love this setup. I love the bed in this direction. And I know it doesn't work for everybody unless you're short like me. I'm 5'2". This bed from window to window is 67 inches. I do have videos on how I built this bed in my playlist. It's called Van Camping in Michigan, so you can check that out. But uh, anyhow, yeah, this is it. Um, I also want to mention another thing, keeping your van clean. Uh, the first thing is um, these throw rugs are fantastic because you can just take them out, shake them out, and clean them. You can wash them really easy with water if you had to uh, do that if you spilled something and hang them out to dry. They're just great. Another thing about keeping your van tidy, it's a it's an intentional act. It, it doesn't happen by itself. So every day you get up you have the same routine and that's what we do. We make sure we keep our space tidy. That's why it's important to only bring what you need and not what you think you might need just in case because that's where the clutter begins and we don't want to be cluttery van campers. I often say in my videos, I want to house me comfortably, not comfortably house my stuff. I mean, think about that for a minute. I'd rather have more space for me in this van than I would to try to find spaces to put stuff that I didn't need or I wasn't even going to use. We do that because, why? Because it makes us feel comfortable to, oh, I'll have this just in case or whatever. But I'm telling you right now, you know, try to get away from that mindset. What is it exactly that you need to get by with? And I'll tell you what, it is not much. We do not need much to get by. But anyhow, um, this is it. This is my 
my van build for 2024. I'm going to be using this regularly. And uh, again, I just love all this space here. Just love it so much. It's so functional. Anyhow, everyone, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any thoughts, questions, um, concerns, lay them on me. Drop them in the comments. I'd love to connect with you all. I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate your kind comments. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel, my uh, new subscribers, my subscribers that have been with me since the beginning. And I really am thankful uh, for all of your support. So anyhow, that's it, guys. Uh, you guys have a fabulous day. I will catch you later. Until next time.